I wanted to share with you some of my favorite new vintage like yard sale and thrift store finds in this video. Some of them you may have seen on my other channel, The Recycled Life. And if you haven't checked that out already, I'm going to link it all over the place below because you don't want to miss out on the fun. So first item I want to show you is this really cool Victorian style lampshade. I got this at a garage sale for 15 bucks. It actually came on a lamp that was like a antique reproduction type of lamp. So I think I'm just gonna donate that. Um, and then I put it on this beautiful lamp that I've had for years. I got this one at an auction for only 17 and it's all hand painted and it's in these really beautiful like pastel dreamy type of colors. And the lampshade was the perfect pairing. We are in my bathroom right now and we don't have a lot of storage in here. So I have this antique wicker tall rack shelf type of thing in here but i wanted to show you this really pretty cup i just got at a thrift store it was only a dollar and it's like this really pretty silver plating it has like a gorgeous etch design and i love this beautiful handle on it so pretty I, do you keep like a little cup in your bathroom too for rinsing after you brush like i always do that or in the middle of the night i'll like i'll get up and i'm thirsty so it's nice to have a little like cup in here um but yeah it was only a buck we are in my dining room right now and I was on Facebook Marketplace the other day and I spotted these beautiful iron tables with this amazing detail on them. Of course, this one spoke to me because it has these angel ladies with their feet kicked back. It's like my favorite combination of a cherub and a nude lady. <laughs> so here they are, these beautiful angels. I actually ended up getting three of these. So I'm gonna show you the other ones in the living room. I have plans to put a real plant on here soon so I can get rid of this silly uh, silk one. Here we are in my living room. I'm always changing stuff in here. I like to rearrange things or put new candles out or just exchange pillows that might be in the bedroom and bring them downstairs. I just love doing it, it refreshes my space. So I don't know if you remember, but I had a couple of different mix match tables in my living room. And I think what's really cool when you find something that is vintage is finding a matching set because you know how hard that can be. So when I saw this whole trio on Facebook, um, first I got that cherub table and then uh, I picked it up on the lady's porch. And it was so funny because I left her, uh, uh, her cash <laughs> underneath the doormat. And when I got that table, I was like, wow, it's really amazing. And I loved it so much more than I saw in the pictures. It was so much cooler in person. And so I messaged her and then I made her an offer on the other two. So you're, you're gonna freak out when I tell you what I paid. These tape, I got two of them, I'll show you the one in a second. But the smaller tables were $30 a piece and then the angel lady table was 80. I think that was an amazing price. She said they came from a historic California hotel. So it's kind of fun that I'm like filling up my house with like hotel, historic hotel type of things. This one's really pretty. It has like an ornate design again like the angel baby table, but this one has little faces on all of the legs and the top is actually glass and then it's hand painted to look like marble. So that's kind of fun too. I've been having a lot of fun mixing Asian decor in with my Victorian pieces and it's been really cool to find out that the Victorians actually love to show off their pieces from their travels. Uh, so it's no surprise to find out that mixing Asian and Victorian type of thing somehow like magically kind of comes together and I'm finding that in my own home. I think you'll notice I got a couple new like food dogs around the living room and they're pretty cool. This one I got on a giant yard sale trip with Laura on the Recycled Life and then this one I also picked up with her too. I got this for 10 bucks at a garage sale. I think it's new. It's like a newer design. This bottom one here is an antique but I love how all these blue tones kind of come together with my favorite painting, which was also a garage sale find. One of my other favorite pieces is this beautiful Victorian necklace that I'm wearing. I picked this up on my trip to Denver, Colorado. I went to this giant antique mall called the Brass Armadillo, which was massive. I've never been in an antique mall this huge. It was like, I think it was said it was on like half an acre and they had over 500 vendors. It was awesome. <laughs> so I picked up this necklace there for $35 and I love that it's a real Victorian piece and has orange coral in it, which is so beautiful. I love Victorian jewelry because of the detail that's put into each piece. And I absolutely love thinking about all of the people that have worn it before me because this piece is like over a hundred years old. And I think there's something really romantic about that. 
Thank you so much for watching today. Let me know in the comments below what is your favorite piece that you found at a garage sale this summer, and I will see you in the next episode.